What's up? This is HD News Tech here. So it's almost been a year, or about a year or so, since the new uh, PS5 and Xbox Series X came out. And uh, we still can't get, of course, the consoles because of scalpers and then them using bots. And I'd rather not deal with it because that's not right. You charge over $500 or whatever the price is rated. It's just not eBay. It's other sites like. Uh, Amazon's got some, there's other stores that are pricing them higher than they should, and uh, it's just not right, and I know that, I know it's, I demand bro, but it's not, it's, it's them buying those consoles in bulk, a lot of those consoles that were bought could have went to homes at a fair $500 price, and, um, you know, everyone could there would have been a higher chance. It's not reducing more factories to make more consoles as in order to or the you know, the chip shortage. Part most of the reason is because the scalpers they always have done this. I remember when the PS3 was out there did this, but not as as intense as it is currently now with COVID and the new version that's apparently going around. And uh, they had years to make all these consoles. I know the scalpers were definitely the ones involved. And every time I try to look, other YouTubers try to look, other people try to look for you know these consoles on the on the website on the accounts like Walmart or Amazon, they're sold out. And they have I think they got restocked at a certain time. And honestly, uh, that's not the smartest idea because now scalpers can actually go there, see the time, put in a bot. Yeah, um, sometimes they just send thousand dollars in bots, and they sh it's just considered cheating. I understand, but you, I've seen these consoles. I saw on YouTubers talking that they're worth over four thousand dollars, and I've never sell something that's over the price of the console unless it was improved, it had a bigger hard drive, and it would be much more than the console itself. Maybe the amount that it took to put the hard drive in, the cost to put it, basically buy the hard drive, and that's about it. But not charging 4,000 bucks for a console that's only worth like 500. And I even seen, I, I even look for PS4 Pros, and I know they don't sell them in the stores either, but they're really sold out, and they're really expensive on certain websites. I think one somewhere was like eight hundred dollars. Was like, whoa, that's just too much. They're like only worth. I think when I bought mine, it was like four hundred bucks, I believe. But uh, there's older consoles are still being charged extra money as a scalping. You know, I guess there are other companies that are doing it, which is not right. But you can't do nothing about it. But you know, we gotta stand up against this because it's just not right to charge someone more than the cost of the console costs to make, and then what the sale price is and uh i just basically saying that it's just don't buy from a scalper it's encouraging them to keep doing it and they've been doing it almost for a year no one can get consoles so yeah i know that some people will be able to get them some might get them for christmas you know from someone but um that's okay but some of them have been warned not to buy from scalpers because of the risk of being ripped off, which has happened last year because some people got bottles of water or like bricks or something. And I know that I've been good this year. I know I'm getting some good stuff and I know that I don't have to worry for wherever I get. Wherever I get is wherever I get from Santa. So, uh, so yeah. Times have been tough at times, you know. Life improved, health got better. Big ma um, a big amount of weight loss for sure in the last year. You can tell I'm lighter, not as heavy as I was. So doesn't mean I can't snack on something once a month or you know something higher carb. I do have a couple today where I had a little sugar, so uh, the last few days, so perfectly fine. Just eat a little more. Just stay within, you know, your limits. Um, but I haven't been able to upload for a while. It's been crazy. It's been holiday season. Every holiday season, I'm working a lot. And 
I'm working on kind of different hours, and the only reason I'm bringing this video to you guys is I was my second day off and had to clean most of the house yesterday because they were doing stuff here. And believe it or not, they destroyed a concrete outside where they're building a new car wash. So they, it's been like three weeks, they haven't really asphalted it or anything. So I've been having to go call for when I get out, out, of, you know, out of the house early in the morning so I don't fall into the pit that they dug. And um, hopefully the new car wash will be built. It'll be better than the old one. The old one was needing to be demolished in the first place. It was just old and they were in rain for the cost of supplies and all that to go down because COVID just raised like wood prices like through the roof this year, earlier in the year. And there's no way they could have afforded to rebuild the place at that current pricing range. <clears throat> but, um, until I think it's doing a little better. I'm hoping they turn around and do better with their products because um, they've been falling apart for years. They've been delayed on their uh, manufacturing progress. It's slimming them in down the size of their chips. They've been delayed like three or four years or more. And uh, I think they're building you know, bigger factories and hopefully they get on track. I know Apple has turned away from Intel because of this reason I just said because they can't make them fast enough. They won't constantly innovating and on time for their releases of processors and products. And I know they're releasing like a graphic card and whatever else. Break, you know, break in the new tech. And uh, there's been a lot of vulnerabilities lately, I think for like Windows and then like the Intel and AMD. So it's like all in the thing, but you know, Life is life, it's going to happen, and hopefully the new products these days coming out in the future are better with these flaws, and they don't have them. So, uh, if you like this kind of, kind of content, make sure you subscribe, comment, like below. So, um, thanks for watching, see ya.